Covered California bait and switch. Hi, I'm Kevin Canals with insuremekevin.com, and I routinely get calls from consumers who thought they enrolled in a covered California plan, only to realize that uh, they're in some sort of goofy indemnity plan or healthcare sharing ministry, and they don't know how this happened. But through the power of the internet, a lot of people can be deceived. So I did a internet search for California health insurance the top four results were for companies advertising affordable rates that they look very good one of them even said covered california in the title but none of them are covered california you had to scroll down to see the actual covered california result and even then it said medi-cal so i can see a lot of people going well i i don't want medi-cal i'm not going to click on that however covered california that's where you go to get the health insurance with the subsidies now these other insurance agencies there's they're legitimate um, there's nothing wrong with them the, the advertising is legal the indemnity products and the healthcare sharing uh, ministry products that they sell are legal but those are not creditable health insurance plans that if you are enrolled into them um, will get you out of the individual mandate penalty that California has. Only a health insurance plan through Covered California or through a carrier, you know, one of the major carriers, Kaiser, Blue Shield, Blue Cross, um, those are credible health insurance plans. So these folks call me and, you know, it, what happens is the agents, <laughs> they make more money on these indemnity plans and healthcare sharing ministry plans than they do from enrolling someone in a covered California health plan. Now, there may be reasons why they cannot enroll someone in a covered California plan that the person might be out of open enrollment and not have a qualifying life event. However, the stories I hear is, you know, the, the people keep being told, oh yeah, this is, this is good health insurance. Yeah, it's California, it's uh, California covered, whatever they want to call it, um, but it, it's not. And once a person is enrolled in some of these plans, you know, the customer service is near impossible to get to cancel it. So it's very frustrating. And then they find out that like on the indemnity plans, they only pay a portion and there's all these conditions and you know, it, it stops after a certain amount um, and there's pre-existing conditions. It's, it's just, it's, it's nuts. So here are a few tips to make sure that you're enrolling in a creditable health insurance plan using an agent because health insurance should be fairly straightforward but it isn't because everyone is unique and has different health care requirements and not all of the carriers health plans are offered throughout california so that's why going to covered california and using the shop and compare tool for your zip code you'll be able to see what health plans for individuals and families are actually offered. And then, you know, if you want, if you need assistance, you can contact uh, one of those uh, companies and talk to an agent. But here are a few tips to make sure that everything is on the up and up. Don't fill out online contact forms, you know, call me back, because that information is sold and you just get a bazillion phone calls for like ever. Um, when you do find an agency that you like and you're comfortable with the individual, get the agent's license number because you can go back to the California Department of Insurance and you know find that person if they leave the, the agency and you need help. But you know that just puts everyone on the up and up to get that license number. My license number, as it should be for most uh, websites, my web uh, number is down at the bottom on all of my pages. So it's, it's clearly visible. Confirm that the person you are speaking to, the agent, is a certified covered California agent because only certified covered California agents can enroll you in a covered California plan. And 
then ask the agent if they are appointed with all the plans that are being offered to you. So you may have a Kaiser, a Blue Shield, a Blue Cross, and a Western Health Advantage uh, health plan being offered to you. If the agent is only appointed with one of those carriers, who do you think they're going to steer you to? They're going to steer you to the carrier they're appointed with because if they enroll you in a plan they're not appointed with, they don't make any money. So make sure they are appointed with all those plans so there's no bias. You're just getting good, straight, honest information. If the agent states that there is a processing fee for underwriting or any processing fee, period, that's a red flag that something is amiss because health plans do not charge processing fees. Health plans do not have pre-existing condition um, criteria for enrollment. So any processing fee, red flag, run away as fast as you can. And have the agent check for your doctors and hospitals that you, you want to see. You may have a particular hospital that maybe you're not being treated for anything, but you want that hospital in your network. And a real health insurance agent will be able to quickly, you know, determine if that hospital is in uh, the networks for the, the plans that are being offered to you. Now, you do not have to enroll in a health plan through Covered California. Yeah, maybe you make too much money and it's going to be less expensive to go direct to the carrier and that's fine. A health insurance agent should be able to step through that enrollment and, and get it to you. However, if you are going through Covered California, you know, the best thing to do is to create an account if you can. Now, just because you have an account doesn't mean you have an application. Once you've created an account, password, uh, the security questions, you can delegate an agent to help you, to assist you with filling out the, the whole application. Because it, it can be complicated. There's some goofy questions on there and you have to know how to answer them so everything works properly. So you can always delegate an agent after you've created an account. But once you have the account, you can see everything that the agent has done and review that information. And if you don't like the agent, you can de-delegate and not have an agent or go with someone else, appoint someone else. And that, that process is a little bit cumbersome, but, but it's doable. If the agent creates a Covered California application for you, make sure that agent sends you the access code. Now, this pops up when the Covered California application is submitted. And before any enrollment into a health plan can occur, there's a little access code. Now, with that access code, you can create a Covered California account and then put in the access code when you're going through the whole process. And it links the application the agent has created to your Covered California account. Next, get the case number from the health insurance agent because every covered California uh, account and application has a specific case number. So even if you don't have a computer, if you have that case number, you can call covered California and see what's going on. They, they can look you up by social security numbers, but it's really helpful to have the case number. And um, have the agent grab screenshots um, for you to review if you cannot get a covered California account so you can make sure that accurate because sometimes there, there can be little typos but you want to make sure that the, the income section is correct and everything's filled out so just have the agent grab some screenshots and send them to you that's, that's the least they can do don't be pressured to make a binder payment immediately right now today even if you are enrolling in a covered California health plan on the last day of the month to begin the next day, it is best to make the binder payment so everything goes smooth, but you don't have to. If there is any questions, concerns in your mind, you don't have to give anyone any information. I will say that in general, if you are applying direct with a, a carrier, Kaiser, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, um, what have you, they will 
usually ask you for payment information right there on the application. Um, and sometimes they won't process it without that. But you're dealing right with the carrier. And again, there won't be any processing fees. Um, so you, you will probably have created an account and then you can see what's going on. So those are kind of a, a few tips to protect yourself because the, the world is busy and you're relying on other people to give you good information, and sometimes people are steering you in the wrong direction. But if you kind of keep some of those thoughts in the back of your head in terms of, you know, creating accounts, getting access codes, screenshots, asking the correct questions, you should be fairly well covered. So if you have any other questions or any other things that have happened to you, you can go down and leave a comment in the section and I will reply to that comment to the best of my knowledge. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of the day. I'm Kevin Canals with insuremekevin.com.